What's going on guys, Brandon Arden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's currently about quarter past one on a Tuesday and we're about to have my third meal of the day, which is some basic chicken and rice. And then after this, we go to the gym to meet Chris, to train chest. Today is Tuesday, chest day. And after reading through the comments in my last chest video, which was like, I think it was a week ago now, the strength gaining program that I kind of decided to do is the, well, there was two. There was a five times five basic strength gaining program, but then there was the Wendler 531, which, I can understand how like someone would gain strength on that because like there's not a lot of reps in just a 5-3-1. I mean, I'll do a warm-up set and then do that. And then obviously every single chest session you get to see your warm-up max because the last rep is just a single rep instead of doing a five times five. And then after that, doing like your, your max, but you'll already be burnt out from the five times five. So today I'm thinking about trying the Wendler. I think that's how you say it, Wendler. I hope that's how you say it anyway. But basically, we're gonna read this and then go to the gym. But like I said, I've just got some basic chicken and rice. It's like 200 grams of chicken with 200 grams of rice. I'm gonna have this with, I'm not gonna have Frank's Red today. I'm gonna have this. It's a little bit more spicy, but I actually quite like it. So I'm gonna have that with just a bottle of water. Now today so far has actually been a really good day, purely for the reason that I've managed to get loads of things done today, as far as like emails go and just like, things that need doing in the house. But basically, when I woke up this morning, I was weighing at 92 kg on the dot, which if I remember, it was 202.8 pound. Now basically, that's my new highest weighing of this bulk so far. Last time I weighed myself, last week, I was 91.4 kg, which is 0.6 kg gained this week. Last week, I gained a whole kg, I went from 90.4 kg to 91.4 kg, and now I'm 92 kg, so the weight's going really well. Like I'm progressing steadily. Progress is a little bit slower than it was last week, but obviously the more along the bulk I go, the, the less I'll gain each week, which is completely okay. Like I'm, I'm, I'm completely aware of that, but right now, I'm happy with where I'm at. So that's the progression, that's what I'm weighing at. Let's go to the gym. I'm so ready for this workout. Last time I tried to go for a PB, I hit 120 kg and then went straight to 140 kg, which I really shouldn't have done because like there was a few comments saying I should have gone to like 130 kg because I might have got that. So today is 130 kg. I'm hoping I'm gonna get it. I don't know, today feels like a, a PB kind of day. I don't know. Okay then guys, so we just got outside of the gym, but before I go in, I wanna say a massive thank you for all the support on the four year transformation video. It's a video I posted last and honestly, for anyone who liked and shared and commented on that video, I really appreciate it. Like, it took me like 10 hours to edit, honestly. Like, I didn't have a video to post, and I was kind of like, I haven't vlogged. Like, and it's been like three days since I uploaded, and I need to post a video. And I had this transformation picture to post, and I was like, you know what? Like, it's been over four years now that I've been training, so like, I think it's time that I did like a four year transformation video. So, for anyone that liked that video, I really appreciate it. If you have a friend that could maybe benefit from that sort of video, share it with them. But right now, Let's try I always do this. I always do this. Let's try in some chest. Okay then guys, just got in the gym. One, one set with just about 20 reps from the chest. Then did some rotator cuff exercise to warm the shoulders. And now we're ready for our first working set. <laughs> okay guys, first set done. Now, because I'm only doing five reps with such a light weight, I don't know if I'm doing it right, honestly, like, this is meant to, like, gain strength or sort of thing. Maybe I should start with, like, my first working set a lot heavier. I don't really know. I'm just listening to what you guys have told me. But we've got a second set now. Three reps with 100 kg on the bar, and then we'll go for a PB. Third working set right now. I don't know what it is, but I don't really feel like I'm doing a lot of work. Maybe you've got to like repeat the whole 5-3-1 situation three times. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna research this whole program, but I, to be honest, I should have researched it before I came in the gym. I kind of just like listened to what you guys said and just like copied the comments. I don't know, I'll research it. Maybe I've just like brainwashed myself with too much hypertrophy. Cause this doesn't really feel like I'm doing a lot of work. But regardless of how I feel right now, we're going for a PB, 130 kg on the bar. Let's do this. Okay, 
Now here I am talking all this shit about this program, but it's because of this, I just got a new PB, 130 kg is my new max rep on the bench. Next, 140 kg, but right now, we're gonna make up for all this like, strength training situation, cause I'm missing the hypertrophy right now. We're gonna make up for that, the rest of the workout. Let's do this. Just finished the workout, ended up having a really, really good workout. I definitely need to research a little bit more into the Wendler program though, because it didn't really feel like I did that much to contribute to strength gains. Maybe, like I said before, you had to like redo it three times because it didn't really feel like I did a lot. Oh my God. Chris parks his car right next to my car. And because I was late, I was meant to meet him at like half one, but I was there at two. And look what he's done. <laughs> Chris, man. Oh no, this is full. He gave me a monster. And there I was about to like badmouth him for messing with my car and he gave me a free monster. So you know what? Chris Greg just started a YouTube channel. He's got about five videos up now and he's really trying to gain subscribers. So his link will be in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe. Now I'm actually really lucky that Chris left me a drink because I had nothing to take my creatine with because I started taking creatine now which is basic CE creatine by Metrics Nutrition. And the only reason I'm taking it it's because it's off season and on the off season you can play around with certain things. It's nothing crazy. I wouldn't recommend it. Some people it works for more. Some people it doesn't even work for at all. People comment in the comment section what supplements to take and if they should take creatine. And honestly, unless you've been training for a few years, there's really no point in taking it. The only supplements I would actually recommend is just protein shakes, BCAs, and maybe fish oils if you got a little bit of joint pain. I know you're working out five, six days a week and your joints start hurting. Fish oils just help out with that and it, like, it helps with the heart, helps with the brain, helps with everything. So like those are the only supplements I'd actually recommend creatine. It's an essential. There's two ways you can take it. You can take it before the workout, which helps with strength and endurance, or you can take it after the workout, which helps with like muscle size. Someone told me and I did a little bit of research into it, but it, honestly, it doesn't impact you that much to even like impact you at all. Like I said, it's just something to play around with. Right now, let's get some food. I am absolutely starving. I've literally been stuck in traffic for at least an hour and a half. Like I'm falling asleep. I left the gym at half four and it's four minutes to six. Like <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's times like this that really make me want a motorbike because it'd be so convenient to better like cut through all the traffic, never have to worry about any cars other than traffic lights. Like that would be the life. You get around so much easier. You wouldn't have to worry about rush hour traffic or anything. But the thing about a bike is, the thing that convinces me to never get one, is if you fall off, most of the time, you have one chance. Like, you can only fall off once and that's it. If you crash in a car, me knowing from many first-hand experiences, you get another chance. Like, it's you're protected, you have this shield around you, but if you crash in a bike, that's kind of it. Like, that's kind of the reason I would never get one, but it, right now, that would be so convenient. Right guys, so I finally got back. When I got back in Bromsgrove, I went down Revolution to pick up two caffeine kicks, which is basically just like a pre-workout. They're one of my favorite pre-workouts and they only sell them at the Gym Revolution. So I picked up two of these, an orange one and a lime one. And the only reason I have these two drinks is because tomorrow I'm going for a PB on deadlifts because tomorrow's back day and basically my PB is 220 kg, five plates for a single deadlift. I'm gonna try and go for 230 kg only reason being is because my mate Fabian is coming down from Hereford. It's like half an hour away and he's got a channel himself with it. So we just thought, you know what? We're going to kill a back workout. We're going to record it. It's going to be good. So I got him a drink as well as me. My sister has the new Call of Duty remastered and I grew up as a kid all the way from middle school on COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. So I'm going to steal her Xbox and play it for a little bit. But I think that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so after playing Call of Duty for a little bit too long and editing most of this video, I'm really, really, really craving some special care. So we're about to go to Morrison's, 
to pick it up. Okay, so it's currently raining. The weather has definitely seen bad days. And we only have 13 minutes to get there because it shuts at 11. Yes, Commander, we are at the extraction point about to pick up the package. We cannot be seen by the enemy. I have eyes on the package. Quick, before they see us. Package acquired. Quick, before they catch us. We made it back, soldiers. After passing through the conveyor belt of doom and the magnetic pillars of death, we made it back with the package safe and sound. Now, to consume the package. I don't know what the hell that was. I was just messing around, but basically, I'm gonna eat this now and then head to bed, so I'll see you guys in the next one.